Boom. What's up, everybody? I'm Derek Gamer. Welcome back to the channel today. Today, we're back as a Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak, and I am here to give you the 100% guide on Sacred Sheet, our new combo that allows us to sheet our weapon in style, just like this. So, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use a counter, how to target your enemies better, all the different levels of the attack, and how to optimize your playstyle to make you extremely lethal on the battlefield. My family, without further ado, let's dive in. All right, so before we get started, if you're new, make sure you guys subscribe for more Monster Hunter content. Also, give the video a thumbs up. It supports me a lot. We are going to, uh, into a Sacred Sheath, and I love this playstyle because I said previously in my other video, if you haven't seen it, I played the Helm's Breaker, Helm Splitter style for the last couple of years now. This is a new style introduced into Monster Hunter Rise and it's super dope. Like We gotta figure out a, a nickname for it because it's just big, big damage like Greatsword, but your Longsword, so you have versatility and damage, so it's, it's fantastic. First things first, I'm gonna start off by reading what the skill is so that people that aren't familiar can get some background behind it. So, Sacred Sheet Combo, a slow methodical movement that can be executed following an attack. Upon sheeting your weapon, you can harness the increased spirit to unleash a follow-up slash. The power of the slash increase according to the level of spirit gauge. If you're attacked, this is important, if you're attacked before you finish the sheet, it will consume one level of spirit gauge and the move will be canceled. That's all they tell you, okay? That's all Capcom tells you. I'm gonna tell you there's another thing in here that's actually really dope. The fact that you can counter and not lose a spirit gauge. I'll, I'll break that down. I'll give you the steps so you can start practicing as well so you can get really, really proficient with this moveset. I have some people comment in my video saying they're not they don't, they're not feeling confident right now in their ability to use it because it's difficult, it's different. It just takes time. It takes play time. We've had thousands and thousands and thousands of hours with other play styles. So this is new. You, I only have 40, 50 hours at this point in the game with this new play style. And I'm still learning things. So let's go ahead and just get straight into the weapon. So essentially, if you, you know, it's just like special sheet. If you attack, you press R1 and X, it goes into the special sheet. That, that sheet in part, it can be impacted by quick sheet. So I have quick sheet three on this build right here. So you can see how fast it loaded up. Let me put, let me take quick sheet off real quick so you can see the difference. So this is without quick sheet three. Look at that difference. So as you can see, quick sheet three is important, but it's, it's, it's different. I'll talk about it a little later. But when I get to countering, there's gonna be a caveat. So we'll talk about that later. So now we got it back on, quick sheet's there. So when you have no spirit gauge, you will just automatically just do that. One strike just like that. Also, too, if you have the, the weapon, the ability changes based on how much spirit gauge you have. So as you see right now, we have one level of spirit gauge, correct? Boom. Takes that. Boom. That's the strike it does. Let's, let's, try, let's try to compare damage. So no spirit gauge, 389 attack. No spirit gauge. 389 attack. We'll do one more for consistency. 389 attack, right? We can all agree on that. So now, let's go up one level. So with one level, boom, 409. Again, we'll just do it twice. All right. 409 that's what one level of gauge so that's what it looks like second level of gauge now one two boom boom two hits right two hits first hits 409 second hit is 1074 1074 we'll do it again so while I'm preparing myself, the cool thing about this ability, it, it has the ability to tank hits. To tank hit, to tank hits, what does that mean? It means that if you are hit, after you put your weapon away at this point, at this point on right here, at this point, if you attack your monster and let go like this, you will not be knocked out of your move. It has hyper armor, poise, whatever you want to call it, depending on what game genre you're coming from. So what that means is you could just tank 
through hits. If a monster's roaring, you let it go, you'll tank through it. A monster attacking you, you'll tank through it. And I also feel like I don't, this is not confirmed. I feel that sometimes like I've tanked through a lot of hits. I feel that it decreases the how much damage you do. And that might be a built in effect that someone might be able to, to clear for us. But that's just what I feel like. So that's two levels of the, of the gauge. Number three. Let's get it up there. Level three. This is the bread and butter of this skill. So initially, I thought you had to lock on to in order for it to hit properly, but you do not. This skill is just like Rage Slash, meaning whichever direction you're putting your, upon release, whatever direction you're looking and you put your directional stick, that's the direction where the attacks on the hit. And this was thanks to someone that commented in one of the videos, like, DJ, DJ, did you know? And I was like, bruh, changed my world. So let's go ahead and do it. Put it in. So I'm over here. One, get my three levels. One, two, three. Boom, boom, boom. You see that damage? You get three big hits. Naturally, you want to land all of your hits. That's why it's important that you're aiming properly. But that last big hit is absolutely breathtaking and sensational. That is the bread and butter of this playstyle. Why is this playstyle cool? Because we have new abilities that are introduced that allow you to focus on building your gauge really, really quickly, which allows you to get back into this mood, mode, charge up, and boom, boom, boom. Hit your big damage. So things that can impact this weapon as well. Focus. Focus can impact it. But I focus one to focus three is not that big of a difference. Maybe like half a second. So if if anything. I wouldn't you probably I wouldn't prioritize that skill set into my build. I would prioritize quick sheet if you can. So now let's talk about we talked about offensively. We talked about how to use it. We talked about the, the tanking property it has, the damage output it has. Now let's talk about the counters. So for the counter, it, with this weapon, you can counter by right here. If a monster hits you while you're sheathing your weapon. In this point one, two, right there, it will automatically counter and you'll lose a gauge. And I'll show that in a second. The thing about it is you can let this go at any point you want. And this is where I was talking about having, see, having quick sheet three and quick sheet, no quick sheet at all, or maybe quick sheet two can impact you because if you want to focus on getting these counters, the faster you push your weapon away means that you need to react faster and prepare yourself a lot sooner for that counter from that monster to come through and you have a slower window. But the problem is I focus on I want to get my big damage off as fast as possible with this damage. I need this to hit. Okay, that's my big my main damage dealer. So of course my build is going to be centered around using that ability. So that's where I am not the counter is cool. I love countering, but we have plenty of counters. We have foresight. We have this one. We got this one. We got we got plenty of counters are fine. But if in your play style, you also want to use this counter because it's really good to use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the monster start attacking so you can start, I can start showcasing some of the things I was talking about earlier, like tanking the attack and how to properly use the counter so that when you counter a monster, you don't lose gauge. Before we get started, did you guys know there's a limit to how much your whetstone can bring back your sharpest or your weapon? I was in here doing some training and I realized it because I sharpened and loaded. If you notice, it only brought back that much. And I was like, oh, wow. I thought it always did 100% of the gauge, but it doesn't. If you take your weapon all the way down, you're going to have to sharpen multiple times. It's a cool little thing I'll point out. All right, so let's get back into it. So training option. What you want to do, bring the head low like I had here. You want to go standby actions. You want to do stomp, minor, ground, tremor. So now you get a chance to practice your moves. I highly suggest a lot of you guys spend your time in here practicing your timing so you can use it in battle. But a lot of times people are like, DJ, DJ, how you counter so good? How you timing? Because we practice, we practice, we spend time grinding. So like I was talking about, first, first things first, let's talk about using the weapon, the gauge and tanking through attacks. So it's tricky because you can, let me just talk, let me just say this. You will, you will, you'll stop that. If you get attacked at this point right here, you'll counter, right? You'll counter, counter, counter right there. If you get hit at this point, you won't counter. That is the only very vulnerability this ability has is that half a second 
while you're transitioning from countering and putting your weapon away to into this mode that you were vulnerable to attack because in this moment what you can do is you can just counter through attack like that you see what happens so essentially what should happen i should fall over just like that but i'm not gonna fall over because i am gonna be able to tank through the attack let me get my meter back up all right counter through let's put ourselves back here let's come down on to like i said you will counter right through the attack you will tank everything so it's very very useful for those situations when a monster about doing attack just tank it see just tank it you're fine so that's how that works you can tank through attacks so now let's get to the counter portion of the video this is going to be the mat when i say master class in the title this is the master level that's going to take some time and some time to get down so you can perfect it so we'll start here let me get it let me get a couple of gauges so you can see all right all right so we got three gauges to play around with okay so now like I said, if I do this, at that point, I can, I can counter. So if you notice, we time it. One, two, three. You see that? I countered. Didn't take no damage, but I lost the gauge. Counter, lost the gauge. Timing, timing. This game's all about timing. Lost the gauge. So now you're like, damn, I'm safe, but I lost my gauge. So now I lost my ability to use my big damage. And the last thing you want to do, you don't want to use your wire bugs and you don't want to use your situation, your moves like this to build your gauge. You want to use combat to build your gauge. So now you're saying, well, DG, I, is there a way I can counter without losing my gauge? And I'm going to tell you, yes, there is. So it's all about timing. So let me get my gauges up. So essentially what you want to do is you want to, you want to physically let go of your charge while the attack is happening and you will counter it and you'll keep your gauge so if it's early medium late right there you have to know you have to like memorize that muscle memory to get there so let me demonstrate it for you so come on boom see that ah uh, i was too late all right so here we go boom and what happens is afterwards is pretty dope so afterwards if you get the counter perfectly you go straight into this mode boom see i let that one go super early Oh, see, it's too late. It's too late. You have like a, like a, you have like, a, I don't know, like a, maybe like a second. Boom. Boom. See, that one went out super early. That's why I said it takes some time. It takes some time to build it. To get that timing down and you just gotta keep on trying it. Boom. Ooh, see? That one was tight. I still got it off though. Boom. And that's where it is. That's how you counter without losing gauge. I played through the game and I was like, I I was like, there has to be a way. Cause I've I've, I've experienced it in my playthrough. Uh, sometimes I, I don't lose gauge sometimes I lose gauge but this is how you can always every single time not lose gauge and it makes sense because here you're prepared you get prepared if you see here it's like he's reacting it's like, oh damn I missed my timing on that one so like it's intentional in order for us to work on that counter time so that's it that is special sheets. 
That's how it works. That's how because this playstyle is really about being in the monster's face and not and not having to like slow down and get out the way. It's really for an aggressive, in your face kind of playstyle. Which is different. See, that one's too early. You have a good amount of time. It's kind of generous. But this takes some time to get used to it. All right. I think that's it. I think we covered everything. So just to reflect, you have three levels of attack. You can tank through your abilities. You can counter. If you miss your timing, you'll automatically counter and lose a gauge. If you get the timing correct, you will automatically you'll counter and keep your gauge. And it'll take you to the mode where you can do your, your last mode of your spirit combo to get your next gauge. And that is special. That is sacred sheet. I think comment below if I miss anything else. I think I pre pretty much covered everything of the weapon. Now it's just a matter of like playing, getting some play time and getting out there and putting all the practice into action. There's no point of learning education without a application. That's a life tip for anything you go into in life. No point of learning nothing without application. So go out there and try it out on some monsters. Comment back on this video and tell me how it was for you. If you learned something new, make sure you share it out on social media or share it with your friends that are trying to learn this weapon and learn this new kind of play style. Stay smooth, my family. Thanks for watching. Till next time, dear gamer, signing out.